a day in the life of George and Simona Papadopoulos. Over a recent lunch in Chicago, George Papadopoulos searches for a word strong enough to describe the importance of his wife, Simona Minjand Papadopoulos. She really has saved my life, says George, the Trump campaign foreign policy adviser who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI last year. After the arrest, and I have never been in trouble in my life, I was half a man. We and oppose semicolon retucked into a corner table at London House Hotel and oppose semicolon S21 Street Floor Restaurant, a dimly lit room with marble walls and a flickering fireplace. Between bites of a smashed cucumber salad, Simona, a 33-year-old Italian-born lawyer model actress, tells me, I felt that he was caught in something bigger than him. The inside story of the California Democrats' failed crusade to investigate Donald Trump and oppose semicolon s the first public interview that George, who is 30, has given in a month since agreeing to cooperate with special counsel Robert Mueller and oppose semicolon s investigation. Until now, Simona has been his voice. Last December, she told ABC and opposed semicolon s George Stephanopoulos that her then fiance, the couple married in March, was no mere coffee boy, as one Trump surrogate insisted on CNN. History, Simona said, would vindicate him as the first domino in the Russia investigation. George takes a sip of coffee, purses his lips, and fixes me with a serious look. It and oppose semicolon s like Simona said, this is much bigger than one person, he says. This is much more complicated than Watergate. We are talking about foreign governments, intelligence, various countries, decoys, hacking, honeypots. And, of course, one of the most watched presidential campaigns of history. I am just in the middle of it. When conversing with an admitted liar, it can be difficult to know what to believe. That and oppose semicolon s especially true when trying to understand the dynamics of a relationship that and oppose semicolon s been entwined with the Russia investigation since day one. Questions were publicly raised about George and Simona's relationship a few weeks earlier, when screenshots purporting to be from Simona and oppose semicolon s Twitter account circulated online. In one. She appeared to say George and oppose semicolon SX kindly offered me today the evidence he was begging her back while we were engaged. Now he is threatening me. Another tweet read, never felt so abused in my life. I stood up for him as I believed in him, he was using and lying, sick, to me. Simona tells me her Twitter account was hacked, for now, the couple are living in Chicago, George and oppose semicolon S home down while he awaits sentencing. His interest in politics began nearby, in Grant Park, at Barack Obama and opposed semicolon s 2008 election victory celebration. I said, and opposed semicolon you know what? I can do what he does comma and oppose, George recalls. According to his LinkedIn profile, after earning a master and opposed semicolon s degree in security studies from University College London. He floated between consulting firms and think tanks before landing a spot on Ben Carson and Oppose Semicolon S presidential campaign. The following year, George and Simona met on LinkedIn. Their shared contact, Joseph Mifsud, was from the London Centre of International Law Practice, where George briefly worked and which he now describes as like, this hotbed with potential spies and all this craziness. Mifsud was a jolly, balding academic who, According to court documents, George understood to have substantial connections to Russian government officials. In March 2016, Mifsud allegedly advised him that the Russian government possessed dirt on Hillary Clinton in the form of thousands of emails, information George is said to have divulged to the Australian ambassador to the UK at London and opposed semicolon s Kensington wine rooms. Australian officials reportedly passed the news to the FBI igniting the investigation into the Trump campaign in July 2016. By September, when Simona started her own job at the London Center, George had joined the Trump campaign in New York, and Mifsud, their shared professional contact, was the excuse he used to connect with her on LinkedIn.